A humble servant of God. <laughs> uh, I am very reverend Joseph Ichiasama, the principal of Offensive College of Education. And by the grace of God, I was appointed to come and head this college in November 2018. So I'm a little over two years now. But since we are in office, and by the grace of God, with the help of the staff, management, students, we've been able to achieve so many things, which we are still praying that a lot more, there was more room for improvement. Um, you see, basically, in the uh, teacher institutions, such as offensive education, teaching and learning, and how to, to provide competent and quality teachers who will go out and then represent the college as good ambassadors, be able to teach the students or the peoples outside here. So all the vision and mission was to focus on how we can produce and we'll provide competent teachers. So together with the team, I shared my vision with them, both staff and students, mm -hmm. and asked that they all own the vision so we can take it from where I took it to move the college forward. So teaching and learning has been very intensive. Teachers are cooperating both students. So it has translated into our results very, very well. Okay, thank you, Daddy. So uh, what are some of the challenges uh, this college is facing uh, when you resume office? Yes. One thing I can tell you is about our principal street. I resume at the time it was a rainy season and I could see how muddy the principal spirit of the college was. And it was an eyesore. Sometimes students even start looking for in the process of using the roads. So we thought it wise to be able to do something about it. So the little IGF who appealed to UCC and we were given this sound program. So whatever we raise out of that, we thought it would start. So you could see that from the administration right down to the dining hall, we were able to do pavement. And that has given this college a very good facelift. And when people come here, eh, they appreciate it. And those of us in the community are also happy that at least we've been able to do that. Not only the pavement, they were using the dining hall as both a summary ground and also eating place. So we thought that uh, thankfully by the grace of God, uh, get fun as put up this auditorium, but it wasn't under the thing over to us. So we mobilized something and then we purchased about a thousand conference chairs into the auditorium. And that has also at least brought a whole lot of comfort into our division. So now we can have assembly, other tutorials, gatherings, church service, all this thing that are comfort. So which I think is also another question. Our classrooms were having this old, old wooden furniture. So we appear in the road and through get from now and able to store all our little rooms with these modern tables and chairs. And it's also helping teaching and learning and the emphasis is also very, 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 very good for us. Uh, which as I said, there were other maintenance and we need to do as the course to be able to also assist our students to at least have a comfortable place to lay their heads. They are ongoing and we, are, we hope that we will make it. And then they will be able to have comfort and they are staying here will also be meaningful. And by the frontage, our college system, we need to renovate the frontage to be able to at least 
bring the college into that. That is also another area we are able to uh, invest. And then the college transfer zone globe was in a very deferable stage. So we thought it was that two idea. Let's put up maybe a story, one story with about five bedrooms at least to meet the standard of the college since the college is now tertiary. And uh, if you are able to do that, in fact, it's still ongoing. And we pray that a lot of and for our main challenges has been with that there's a great fund project that when after completion can take lecture is a lecture hall complex. So many students but it's the project is stopped for the past four years. So we are fretting and we hope that the government will release funds so that the contractor will return to the site to complete it. And then we are also increasing our intake. So there has been a burden on our students' accommodation, our hostels are also not enough. Last year the government promised that they were going to at least put up every college one modern lecture room in a hostel. Uh, for whatever reason, maybe due to the COVID there, they didn't come to fruition. So we hope that this year we are praying that the government will come to our aid to build at least one or two hostels together with a modern lecture room where we may have a big ICT uh, center and all this to be able to at least ensure that we have effective teaching and learning and in the college. Well, so far, that has been our challenge. And then maybe the um, probably side of the college has no friends. So uh, it's allowing other intruders, the place has become a thoroughfare. So security, in terms of security, it's not the best. But that one, the management and the, the entire college, we are hoping that in the future, through IGF, we will start something so that at least our security here on campus will, 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 will be the best for effective teaching and learning to go. That's what I can say for now. There are other ways which we are trying on human aspect of here and there, but we hope that that can be dealt with uh, administratively. But the most challenging one is what we are appealing to the government and other philanthropists to come to our aid. You know, uh, last year the college was earmarked to host the ASPA lesson, so we had to put a, a whole lot of operation in place. So we've constructed some handball uh, courts, volleyball courts, concrete ones. It, it costed the college a lot, but we haven't finished. We still need people, but right. the alumni also mobilize themselves. A few of them that they want to also build a hundred seater VIP stand so that at least during the games it can host some of our activities. That one is also stopped because they are also experiencing a lack of adequate, inadequate funds. So we hope that the alumni also at least come in to help so together we we'll move this college. Forward. Okay, Daddy, thank you for having us over. But uh, before we leave, uh, what are some of the advice you like to give it to the youth and the upcoming collegians on campus? Yeah, the advice if you listen to my address uh, to the matriculants, I told them a lot. You are our future leaders. So, whatever we are doing now, we are preparing you to take over from us. So, one thing that can help you. The main focus is your ability to ensure that discipline becomes a hallmark. Nowadays, some youth, well, I don't know whether it's youthful exuberance or what, they are okay with anything. They copy blindly. They waste their time on unnecessary things. But as people who are being trained to become professionals, Pray that you sit up and make sure that whatever you do is in confines of our rules and regulations. We need to 
chart a new way that will help all of us to have the confidence in you that this modern youth will be able to. And sometimes I don't also don't want to be, uh, at least for them so much. What I want to say is that sometimes as adults, we also fail to engage our youth. So I also want to pray that people in positions must do our best to engage our youth. Students' engagement is one of the technical things that can help all colleges, and particularly my college, to be able to do better. So it's one of the techniques I've adopted. And by so doing, I normally engage my students through the help of the Dean of Students. Yes, they are very cooperative. Sometimes it's not easy. They come with so many things, but we sit them down and we try to make sure that we give them the necessary advice and they hear to advice so things are good. So you must stay and remain focused and know that the, 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 they must take their, their destiny in their own hands and work towards it. Set realistic and achievable goals so that in future they can take our place and manage whatever positions they find themselves very, very well. Thank you, Daddy. Then we would like to uh, leave. So thank you for having us over. I really appreciate it.